Dear Muji, some months ago, Mind made an offer I could not refuse at that moment. Dreams were coming true. Everything was perfect, and I signed a contract with him. <laughs> I forgot about myself, and suddenly everything turned into smoke. What a great delusion! What a great gift! Now I am here, observing as things come and go. I know that even the sense of being is observed. So this here, where I stand now, seems somehow incomplete. Also, it is floating, as identification with person still comes and goes, comes and goes. The question is, is it just a matter of being here while the melting goes on by itself, as I remain as the second bird? We will go into that for those who have not heard this um, metaphor before. Uh, let's imagine that there is a tree uh, by the edge of a cliff overlooking the sea, let's say. And on one branch of this tree, there is a bird who has built a nest, or is building a nest. It already have some chicks are inside the nest, and this bird is flying off and bringing more straw and more twigs to keep finishing building the nest, and sometimes going out bringing worms to feed the baby chicks. Uh, so this bird. Um, represents uh, life, normal life for most human beings. We are building the nest of our home, a career, um, uh, studying at college, university. We are doing the things that we are all um, brought up traditionally to do, and that's quite fine. And uh, going off, uh, having a family, going off, making a living to come and feed your family. This is the bird that's flying off. I call this the first bird. It's flying off and getting food for the chicks and this kind of thing. No? The daily activities of life, normal life. In the same tree, on a branch just above, sits another bird. It looks identical. But this second bird is sitting there, quietly. It is not building any nest. It sits quietly, where it can see the first bird and all of its activities. It is not concentrated on any particular activity, so it is not flying off and coming back. It just sits quietly. And this second bird um, represents uh, the one who is observing, noticing all things, but is not involved in anything. He just quietly witnesses. And this second bird, somehow, is inside the first bird, in a way. So this is the metaphor, you see. He quietly looks and sees the activities taking place through the body-mind, and all the body mind wants to do to make a living, to study, to evolve, and to grow in the world, to accomplish certain things, to raise a family, to be happy, and so on. But this second bird just quietly looks. And I'm asking you as I talk and share this metaphor if you can relate to both bird illustrations. One part of us, we are doing the things we must do in life naturally. But inside our activities is a capacity within us, let's call it the second bird position within us, that is simply aware, observing, but with detachment. It has no investments. It is simply aware of all that is happening. This second bird 
he can see the first bird and all of its activities. He can see uh, the sky and the sea. He can feel the wind and the rain. It just quietly is there. Can you relate to this second bird uh, metaphor also within yourself? And this is very important, especially when we are discussing the things we are doing now, today. Because I am not talking so much about the outer world of names and forms and things to do and to accomplish and so on. Um, because we all know that. I don't have to tell you that or interfere with that. But I am introducing and reminding you of a deeper awareness within you, in which all these things are seen. Now, many people live primarily in first bird position. They have a sense of themselves and their responsibility, their aspirations, their achievements, their intentions, their attachments, their desires, all of that they are involved with. But not so many are aware of that second bird within themselves, which is observing with detachment uh, and dispassion uh, a place of awareness. That second bird position um, qualifies you to be where you are now, that you are able to be aware of your daily activities. Sometimes we don't know why we fell in love with that person or found this job or have these friends. It's like it happens somehow spontaneously. It's just unfolding. And yet at the same time there is a deeper knowing within us that is not really doing anything. It's simply the place that we are aware, where we are conscious of our existence and the play of life that unfolds for each of us. Okay? So that is very important. Now Rafa is saying, this here, where I stand now, seems somehow incomplete. Where are you standing? Maybe sometimes it's the first bird uh, thinking he's already the second bird and ah. trying to. But the second bird knows this, no? Yes. Because second bird not only observes matter, but ab- observes also mind and uh, sensations arising. When I say second bird, this bird is not a regular bird. It's not a sparrow or something. This is uh, the bird of being. So he's aware not only of the feelings, not only of the 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 things, worms and eggs and all these. No, he's aware also of the inner bird's feelings, the first bird's feelings. So you're saying that somewhere between the first bird and continue now. Let me hear what you say. Okay, um, I had some blissful experiences before, and uh, somehow, as I stay, as I remain, the sense of being, um, somehow, it feels sometimes that something is too missing, and I yes. don't yes. know why. What could be missing? Remember, second bird posture is uh, that where you're. Whatever is happening, without moving about, you are simply aware of the traffic of the world. Everything is coming and going like clouds. You are noticing. Okay, you are in a very stable place. Then somehow, a thought comes: something is missing. Something is missing. What is to say that that is not just a thought like any other thought? Why? Why does that have? Why does that catch your attention so much and disturb you? Look at it. Um, maybe this is uh, the piece <laughs> yeah? that was. Maybe this is the piece that was missing. Ah, because um, what happens? It's... There seems to be some swinging, some oscillation between yes. first bird uh, position. Identity is still living with the first bird, and uh, even though it's observed. The energy of it is still inside uh, second bird a bit, no? So it is a little yes. bit inside the natural piece. A little bit of restlessness is there also. And although I am calling you now to say you are aware of it or not, and you say yes, still it's not going away. This feeling it's like yes, yes. The doctor says I'm okay, but still I don't feel. Isn't it like that? No, something yes. is there. Okay, this good. Um, So 
So this here, where I stand now, you say, which seems to me, when I listen to you, you're standing in a place between first bird and second bird, a little bit. Huh? But this is also noticed. You're writing about it. It's like something, the sense of my, um, of my presence or my being is somehow not totally still. It's oscillating. It's shaking a bit. But I'm calling you, but there's awareness of this also, isn't it? Yes. So the second bird uh, is usually aware of things in front of it. But now something deeper than the second bird awareness is, is aware that uh, some movement is there. But this deeper place of looking, is that really troubled by anything? Where even the, the first bird and the second bird life and activity is seen, hmm? Does, is that suffering from any condition at all? No. No, not at all. Um, I not just at all. Feel peace and joy, and not all the time, but sometimes, yes. Okay. Really, why it is not experienced all the time is because identity is still alive. Not as before, not as before, not, not like it used to be. But some remnant energy is still there. It's still moving. And of course, you naturally feel something is not in place. No? So therefore, it just calls that some continued looking take place. Hmm? Looking means to be still and paying attention to the movement of thought and feelings and just keep verifying they are just sensations. They are just sensations arising and passing. They are coming and going, coming and going. And they are noticed to be coming and going. You see? So, first, second bird positions are both noticed inside uh, a deeper awareness which has no shape. It cannot be described. Would I be right in saying that? But somehow, still, that itself. You are not stabilized in that yet. We feel that the one said, Yes, I know when I go this far back, especially if you push me and if you guide, I can come to this place and it's whoa, it's totally empty of any kind of mm, a description. Uh, you know, there, there are no there are no descriptions here. There, you know, it's 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 empty of all things. You you have experienced, no? Did you feel afraid at all? Did you feel that mm. you have compromised? You will have to compromise something, or you will have to um, somehow uh, uh, um, like it's some kind of risky place to be. Do you experience like that? No, no. Okay. Now you say so. This here, where I stand now, seems somehow incomplete. And I put it to you, uh, don't purchase this feeling of incompleteness. It's not necessarily an intuition you're having. It could also be a suggestion from the mind, because it will do that. You know, something is missing, something is missing. And then you start to look what is missing, you cannot find what is missing. You see? But you're bought, you're bought into the, the, the feeling, and so it, now it's disturbing you. What is it that's missing? I can't find it, you see. Now I say let's 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 bring it back. Let's tighten the lens and bring it back to the place of just you're here, and all of what you're seeing is phenomenal. And by phenomenal, I mean that they are not stable. They appear and they disappear. They have no real existence by themselves. They cannot exist without you perceiving them. That's what I mean by phenomenal. Now, are we all on board? Can you all relate to what I'm speaking? Yes. Uh, without doing anything, you are simply, uh, in your silence, you can confirm, uh, it is so, it is so. Then if a question comes, we will we'll come to that. Now from here you say, also, it is floating, as identification with persons still comes and goes. But I say, whatever it is, whether it is floating, or it is uh, diving, or sinking, or flowering, it doesn't matter. It's still only an effect in consciousness.
Can I speak like that? Whatever it is, don't start to categorize. It all belongs to the place of the fluid consciousness. It's pictures, movement, this and that. The mind uh, thrives on making distinctions. Oh, but this is not this. This is this. This is more important. But for the one from the place of pure, formless awareness, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, when, when, the, when, you, when you're in the dream, everything matters. The, the rain is wet, or the sun is hot, the earth is as it is, people are varied. When you wake up, you realize, but it's all dream. It's just been dreaming. Uh, I'm not going to go too fast on that, because you have to catch up with that a little bit. And we're, we're fine. We're doing fine here. So my only advice at this point of my letter with you is that this noticing that something is floating as identification with person still comes and goes. But identification is not what you are. Uh, you are not uh, I- personal identification or any identification. You are the space in which the drama of life, the comings and goings, are playing. You are not trying to arrest them and change them and push them about. You are more your your focus and energy is resting inside your being. You see, when we are uh, experiencing life uh, with a strong sense of personal identity. There are so many things to control, so many things uh, can go out of shape, and we have to put them back. And your sense of yourself is like your self images of somebody with a particular history, a particular kind of orientation, is yourself. A self image of yourself is behind all the doing. But as you come more deeply back in the place where you're observing, and the, observ- the observing place is neutral and shapeless, your experience of your, being, of your being is not chaotic. It's just a sense of beingness. And it is, you will know that this is uh, my preferred state. I am, I'm just happy here. I'm not trying to stop life. I'm not pushing life about. But somehow everything is happening. And it all seems that there is a harmony. Some power is taking care of all things. I am not personally um, you know, responsible for the way the world is working in some way. And your personal interference or interjection in the world becomes much more quiet, much more uh, um, a flow. So you are in a very uh, pleasant state at the moment. Now, mm, Now you say, the question is, is it just a matter of being here while the melting goes on by itself as I remain as the second bird? What is the difference between first bird and second bird? Well, first bird weakness, but it is witnessing with self-interest only. It's like personal. What is good for me and what is good for mine? It's, 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 It's witnessing it is not is not serving the world it's serving the little self the second bird is different in that from the second bird it's much more global it's much more broad if you pay attention you see the second bird is not the shape it doesn't have a shape like first bird it's much more spacious a more spaciousness is there you see and you experience this directly you don't have to go looking at anything it is there intuitively you know it it's a more spacious thing. It's more a wider field, a more universal sense of being is there. Okay? So, um, my question is, you say, is it just a matter of being here while the melting goes on by itself as I remain as a second bird? Is the second bird, in my illustration, and I'm asking you all to look at this, is not the second bird also uh, witnessed? Not necessarily as a shape, but maybe as a shape of um, activity or a shape of being. Can you see this also? In a subtle way, I cannot ask you to draw a second bird. Maybe you can draw a first bird. You cannot draw a second bird. 
you can only intuit it. You can sense, yes, yes, this is the where the the functioning of perception, the the sense of being, uh, uh, and the temperature of being, and and so is also seen also. In this deeper seeing, uh, what is here, if even second bird, as subtle as it is, and as beautiful as it is, if it itself can be perceived, that which perceive it, uh, does that have any distinguishing features? Contemplate, look. All of you, look. This is immediate sada, meaning that as you are looking from your place of stillness, you can verify now. I am not sending you somewhere to go and sit under a tree and, and practice something. You can see with the eyes of your own intuition and consciousness. You can see, you know and see. You see? So this seeing, I don't mean the seeing that's done through the eyes only. But the seeing, which is the perceiving through consciousness itself. If I were to say to you, can the second bird be also perceived? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Even if you say it is sensed, it is seen. Meaning it is sensed. Meaning it is, it is also appearing. It is also apparent. Not necessarily as a form, but maybe as a shape of consciousness. Have I lost you? Have I gone too far ahead? Very nice, very good. So, last point you say, is it a matter of just being here while the melting goes on by itself as I remain as a second bird? But I would rather say to you, what is aware of second bird? If there is an awareness of second bird, yeah, don't try to make a picture of what it is. That is not important. If it wants to show itself in any form, it can do that by itself. The question is that even second bird is perceived, is sensed, isn't it? What is it like when even the second bird is sensed? What could you possibly be to be sensing even first and second bird? Don't make pictures. We don't need imagination for this. Right here, where you are right now. What is here of you? Can you describe even? No. No. Nothing here. Yes. Did you create this place? No. May I ask you a very subtle question? No? All of you, again. Are you here? Because obviously you know naturally that you are here. But are you here as a person? I am looking at you. I am looking at you all as much. Are you here personally? No. If you are not here personally, in what way? Are you here? Just don't be quick to answer. Look. You know you are here. You don't need to describe even. I am asking you that because I am pushing you a little bit, you see, so that your mind doesn't give you an answer and then you say it like this because any answer that comes from the mind will not be true. Do you know this or not? Any answer that comes from the mind, and it will suggest some answers, like you are everything, it means nothing at all. It has to come, it has to reveal itself somehow. Uh, uh, to who? To whom will it reveal itself? To you who are itself. You here, in my guidance, you are the self. If you have come this much to see that. First bird you are aware of. I am not asking you to kill first bird. I don't have to ask that. But now where is first bird to you? Can first bird and its activities trouble you? 
Look, you can all answer. You see to yourself, can whatever first bird represent and its world and activities, uh, are you disturbed here now? Is it something that you must hold on to quickly because it might disappear? No. What about second bird? Second bird, we don't know what second bird is now. It's like uh, it's like mixed with, with, whatever. But now, what is left? Who are you here? You see. This, this, is the space of awareness itself. We cannot talk much about this, and you won't want to hear anything about it. You don't need to hear anything about it. Anything I tell you about it will come from the mind and from something, because it is beyond shape, it is beyond concept. You are in your natural state. But, but, the sense of mine will come again. It's almost to come here or to discover this, you see. Are you, may I just ask you also, like we can say, I'm sitting in this room. So there's two things there's a room, and I am sitting in the room. That's normal language. This that I'm speaking about now, beyond second bird, are you here like one thing in another thing? Or it's not like that. Are you an object here? Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Very good, very good. How are you staying here? Because sometimes people say, How can I stay here? How are you staying here now? Are you staying here or are you here? You see? Are you staying like a bit of hold on? Oh, stay here? Or there's no staying here. I am here. You you're with me now, isn't it? I say this ahead of time because a time is gonna come. A storm is going to come. The mind is going to come and is going to challenge. Who can it challenge? Whatever remnants there remain of your conviction that you are a person experiencing this. Any belief I am a person experiencing this, the mind will come and say, Ha ha, what happened now? Take this, poof, take that, poof. and you're going to think, Oh, I've lost it, I've lost it. And suddenly it's like you take the shape again of a somebody. But you will see this. Don't worry and don't feel, Oh, I've failed, I've failed. Nothing like that. Simply, you are distracted. And by being distracted, you took the shape again of a somebody who achieved something. You follow? So it is good that uh, these uh, talks are recorded, no? so that you can listen again and look, and again keep confirming and looking, and look also with the video watching, and then also put it aside and look by yourself again and see. Is it the same verification I can verify? You see, and that verifying, is it somebody verifying, or is it that, at a certain point, there is no separation? You listening? Try not to miss a word. You are looking to verify, so you're trying to verify, and suddenly there's no separation. You're here. You're here. You're here. You're here. Have you just arrived here? Or have you not always been here, but dreaming you were the one trying to get here? Where in the world is a conversation like this taking place? Penetratively looking, verifying. This is interactive satsang. I am not giving lecture to you. We are looking together. We are verifying together. But the experience 
is taking place within your being itself. You follow. So thank you, Rafa, for a beautiful letter that gives the opportunity to do this looking together and discovering. Discovering. The mind might say, Eureka, we have done it. But reject that vice. Remain as you are, without distinction, like space, being aware of space. Now you are beyond all things. Very few beings, very few human beings, come here. This is the state of the awakened one. This is the pure state of the Jnani. You understand? You may find that, oh, I, I experience it sometime, but somehow I slip back. But when you slip from here, you slip at least back into presence. Don't slip all the way down to personhood. Sometimes we do. <laughs> Isn't it? With a bump. You slip all the way back, bang, into yeah, and it will feel like hell. <laughs> Isn't it? You know what I mean or not? Yes, yes. yes. So um, then uh, but it won't be long. Quickly, you see, somehow by grace you 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 are here again. You're acclimatizing or re-acclimatizing. To the purity of the self, you see. It will take time to awaken to the timeless. So um, don't expect, oh, I spend the whole week doing it and nothing. No, don't worry about that. No, you continue looking and looking. Uh, forget about the results, they will happen automatically. If you're looking for results, you, you will not reach. Suppose you plant a, a seed, and every week you pull him up to see how much the root have grown. Uh, then uh, the tree will not grow. Leave him. Just water, put in good place. He's fine. He's doing good. God is growing, growing it. The God within you also. Thank you.